I will not sit down in silence. I'm going to stand up and fight this. Not with words of violence or words that will stir up riots, but of peace that can't be explained by science. Hey everyone, how's it going today? Going to be making a Q&A video. I made one like two months ago, but two months seems like a really, really long time ago. So I figured I'd make another one. Someone actually suggested this. Wasn't my idea. If I can find the DM, I'll put it up on the screen right here, but... Whatever, before we get into this Q&A, you guys already know what it is, more than just reactions, so I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button, become a part of this journey, taking on 2020 full force with a 10K subs, let's get it! All right, let's hop right into this. Willow asked me, what is your dream job? This is a really tough question because I feel like my whole life, I've been trying to figure out what my dream job actually is. Um, so this is kind of putting me on the spot right now. I haven't looked at these questions yet, but if I could say something, it would be to start my clothing line. I got, I showed you guys that, uh, I think in my first vlog, maybe I'll play a clip. I don't know, but yeah, you guys saw that. Um, yeah, but that's that, I wouldn't say that's my dream job. It's just kind of a goal right now. I just want to start that. And yeah, at a comment asked me, what's your favorite movie? This is actually a really easy answer or a question for me to answer, and that is October Sky. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys need to watch it, man. That's like a classic movie. The score, the soundtrack of that movie is phenomenal. Like, you guys gotta see it. It's not for everyone, but for someone like me, it just, it hits me. It hits me in a different way. My brother asked, what's your favorite thing about your brother? Um, nothing, because he's just a scumbag. Ja Quinn RM, sorry if I just butchered your name, asked me, the saddest song I know. Um, people tell me I listen to depressing music. So, but like to me, it doesn't sound depressing. I, but like one song that comes to mind is a song called Watch Me Bleed by Scary Kids Scaring Kids. If you guys know that song, that song's a banger, dude, but it's definitely sad. Jack Rebels asked me, is there any particular brand of headphones, earbuds you prefer for sound and why? Um, honestly, I don't really have much of a preference because I feel like nowadays, for for a person like me, I haven't really used headphones in like the longest time. But it's been a it's been great because of the reaction channel. I can finally use headphones and things sound so much better. But I never find the time to to really use headphones. But back in the day when I did use headphones a lot, I'd use these Soul Republic um, something HD. Um, and I really, really like the sound of these. I haven't listened through them in a really long time, but yeah, if I had to answer it, those would be it, but I haven't really experimented that much. Meiku, my boy, asked me, how do you make time for YouTube? And even more so, how do you maintain motivation to post as often as you do? This, I like this question a lot. This is a really good question, man. Um, honestly, it's, it's definitely, it's not hard. It's not hard because the amount of time it takes me to make a reaction video, edit it, and upload it, it really doesn't take a ton of time. Like, obviously it takes time, but it doesn't take, like, a drastic amount of time. So that's not the difficult part. The motivation is definitely the harder part because me, uh, I have, like, a, I don't know what type of personality it is, but I can easily, I get attracted to things and I'm, like, really into them for, like, a short period of time. And then I kind of just move on to the next thing. Um, but this is something that I've wanted to do for a while. You guys already know. I told you this a million times. That I wanted to make a reaction channel for the longest time. And then I finally did it. And now I have... I think what's keeping me going is goals. Is that I wanted to hit 1K. And now I'm going for 10K subs. And yeah. I just want to get there. And I want to keep growing. And... A big part of that is like I want to there's a deep desire in me this is I know it's just, it's an unhealthy way to live but there's this deep desire for me to be known in a way if people like I don't know what that is or where that comes from but I do have a desire to be known by people um, and yeah, I think that's what's kind of motivating me to keep going and to see my numbers go up. Yep, asked me, plans for other kinds of videos, vlogs, Q&A, challenges. Um, well, I'm making a Q&A right now. <laughs> but yes, I do have plans for other videos. I actually have a lot of ideas that come to me just randomly throughout the day. Pretty much every single day, 
Um, a lot of the time, most of the time, I don't follow through on them, unfortunately. Um, but those videos like vlogs, uh, skits, just anything else other than reactions, they take a lot more time and effort and thought to be put into them. Um, not that I don't want to do them. It's just with work and everything. Um, I don't know. I've, I've been kind of lazy, honestly. I should be doing a lot more. I really want to be doing a lot more. And I think you guys would enjoy things as well. And there's also a part of me, I'm like, I'm not the most secure person in all reality. You guys see like me in my reactions. I don't really, like obviously I don't fake things. Um, but when you are recording a video for YouTube, there's a big difference between YouTube you and then real life you. YouTube me is me, 100%. It's just maybe a slightly exaggerated version of myself or trying to show off the better qualities of myself when the real me isn't, I don't know, like the real me doesn't care um, what parts that I'm really showing um, because it's not broadcasted to like a big audience, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't know how to really explain it. Um, so vlogging for me is definitely a difficult task because I, I feel awkward vlogging in front of other people. I feel awkward having this high energy and putting it in front of people like, hey, what's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? I am walking through Walmart right now. Like that's just awkward for me. Um, and I, I told you, I think I mentioned this in the last Q and A is that for some reason in my head, I really would like to have a lot more subs before I start vlogging and stuff. And I think I'd be a great vlogger, honestly. I think my, I'd be dropping bangers all the time. I'm just, honestly, I'm just too, I'm really insecure, man. I'm, I'm insecure, dude. That's what it comes down to. Keldrick Archer asked, what kind of work do you do for a living and do you balance it out with your hobbies? Well, you guys already know I work at Amazon. Um, and how do I balance it out with my hobbies? Honestly, like, hobbies is a weird word for me. Because I feel like I have no hobbies, but I guess you can consider YouTube a hobby. Um, and I play video games, specifically Call of Duty. Um, but that's pretty much all I do. I don't really do anything else, so it's pretty easy to balance it. Darren Ong asked me, are you going to produce music in the future? Um, yeah, I mean, totally. I have a couple songs. One specific song that I think was would be really, really good if I just put it out there. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna produce it myself because it's hard. And I know if I go to someone, I could get a lot better. The sound would just be way better and people would probably enjoy it a lot, a lot more just because of that. Um, but yeah, I do plan on releasing music in the future. Jonathan Kirkpatrick asked me, what artists do you listen to? What religion do you believe in? And what's your favorite food? So what artists do I listen to? I listen to Circa Survive, Coheed and Cambria, a lot of like Christian groups and that kind of answers the the second question, what religion do you believe in? I'm a Christian, I don't like to call it religion. I think people have it messed up. People don't understand the difference between Christianity, like true Christianity and then religion. Um, that's just a big pet peeve of mine because like you can call it a religion or whatever, but it really isn't a religion. It's cliche, but it really is more like a relationship rather than religion. And what's my favorite food? Guys, I'm a really picky eater, but if I had to say, it'd be pulled pork, pulled pork. I could eat that each and every day, all day, every day. That's my favorite. Arkia Pro... Okay, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce your name. I really apologize, but I see you commenting on my videos all the time. You're the GOAT, I love you. Uh, what is your setup like? Mic, headphones, monitor, computer specs. Are you thinking of expanding your content to anything more? Well, I answered the second part of that question, but my setup... Um, I have a Samson G-Track something mic, just a USB mic, just plugs directly into my computer that I use. Um, the headphones that I have, I don't know exactly what they are. I remember I was like on Guitar Center one day and then these things were being advertised and they were on, a, they were on sale. So I got them for like $60, but I like them a lot. They're, they're nice, they're comfy, they sound good. And my computer specs, off the top of my head. All right, here we go. Ryzen 5 2700, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I really want to upgrade that to 32, honestly. But 16 gigabytes of RAM, um, a GTX 1050 Ti, 
and that's that's all like the important stuff i guess i want to get a bit a better faster graphics card um and a little bit more ram but that's about it but my setup is perfect for for me right now zk rax asked me what's your favorite eden song what's your favorite eden album slash ep and then egg i don't get the egg question but the first question first answer to the question what's my favorite eden song that is rock and roll yeah rock and roll for sure and my favorite eden album surprisingly guys i i know i'm going back on my word but my favorite eden album is vertigo before it was no future when i like first listened to the albums but after listening to each album a bunch of times vertigo to me just yeah just takes the cake vertigo is amazing Alex Favors asked me, out of all the recommended artists you've been shown, Eden, Jeremy Zucker, Breakins, Lauv, probably some other people, who is your favorite and why? All right, this is, this is the question, man. This is the, the big hitter, the heavy hitter. Guys, I know this might disappoint you, but it's definitely Jeremy Zucker, um, especially after the album that he just released. It's incredible. I have listened to it on repeat at work all day, every single day, and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating one bit. Full stop is incre- Ugh, full stop is so good, dude. Jeremy Zucker, his voice, the artistry, the production, he does all the production. This guy's incredible, man, his voice. The way he just, mm, I, I don't know, man. But yeah, Jeremy Zucker. Shaden McGee asked me, who is your favorite person to react to on your channel? This kind of goes along with the previous question, and that's Jeremy Zucker. Um, it would have been Eden before this album, but yeah, Jeremy Zucker, that album, phew, wow. And the final question for this Q&A, coming in, ZK Rax again. He asked me, will you be doing more Eden covers? The answer is yes, guys. The answer is yes. I need some suggestions down in the comments. I'm not going to lie. I haven't had the most confidence in my voice. You guys know that. I think I've explained that a couple different times. But I haven't had the most confidence in my voice. Um, so it's a matter of me feeling confident with my voice. And then also me finding the right song that suits my voice. So I, I covered Untitled, as you guys probably saw. And I feel like that song kind of suited my voice. So it's a matter of me finding like the perfect Eden song for me. Um, not all of his songs can suit my voice. So I want to find the right one. Um, but if you guys want to leave suggestions down in the comments, if you think a certain song will suit my voice, just comment it down below. Um, and then, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll cover it in the future. But thank you guys. This is the end of the Q&A. Thank you guys for staying for the whole thing. If you did, you guys are the real goats. Please leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys don't like and comment my channel won't grow honestly uh so guys leave a like this is really important i just found out about this whole thing i thought like likes and comments weren't like that important but apparently they are so like the video comment your thoughts and thank you guys just for tuning into this i was gonna say reaction but this q a i will see you guys next time peace out